What's up, everyone? It's Shav, a.k. That Mill Guy, coming at you with the next episode of Road to 5 a series where we take our various mill decks in their various forms, and we try and take it to that 5 that ever-so-coveted beautiful trophy available to us on MTGO. Now, we're going to be doing something, give or take, the same as what everyone else is doing. The list that we're running today is not so different than the list we ran before. The notable difference that you'll see is the 2-2 split of Ghost Quarters and Field of Ruin. We're going to be trying a little bit more differently. I imagine that going into these big mana matchups, we're going to be needing some changes, all right? Some ways to fight some of the big mana stuff that's going on. But other than that, I think the rest of the list is perfectly fine and we can manage so other than that quick shout out to the patreon the individuals that'll help keep the quality high and the lights on and let's get right into it the deck list is going to be available right down below in the description no face from me today but other than that please remember that even the impossible is possible and as we head into the games please remember to join me next time as we take a glimpse into the unthinkable Going into game one, we have lost the die roll. Our opponent has mulliganed to six, and it looks like we're going to have to do so as well. Our opponent keeps their six, and we'll keep our six, because why not? I'm here for entertainment, so let's do it. Well, I was kind of relying on this to resolve, but oh well. Interesting, but we're still just going to play this one. Ooh, we're playing against Jund, one of our worst matchups. Well, you gotta love colorless mill spells. Why couldn't they just do that first and fetch? Ugh. Oh. I really don't think we can come back from this, so I'm going to be 110% honest. I'm very close to conceding here. Well, 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 an opportune land drop. I guess we'll archive trap them on their draw step. Ha <laughs> ha, I didn't even need a surgical the bolts. As promised. By the way, I just want to point out, we've mulled over three bolts and all four Tarmogoyfs. This is, for all intents and purposes, not as bad as I thought it'd be going. Yeah, that's, I'm good. I mean, I guess we can just discard that land, but sure. So each player discards. I think we're going to lose the surgical here. I don't think this has much value anymore. Ooh, it looks like that land drop we stopped is exactly what they needed because this Bob does absolutely nothing. We play a land. Vraska Golgari Queen. What? Oh boy, I heard you can't make land drops. So we're going to punish you even more. <laughs> yeah. Cling to dust is amazing, folks. You got to play it. Aw, they had one anyway. Well, this kills our orb. Yep. Back on our turn, I think we can actually race them potentially. So let's glimpse. We can then mission briefing, hopefully glimpse next turn, and we'll go from there. Ooh, they're doing shenanigans. Oh, wow. Do they have another lily in hand? Well, I guess we sacrifice the basics, right? Oh, God. This is about to get real hard real quick. Yikes. Triple yikes. Yeah, I'm be honest here. The writing's on the wall. We're just going to go to the next game here. Going into game two, we're going to choose to interact in a whole different way by taking that stuff out and playing a little bit more reactively instead of proactive. So let's see what happens. I would love to play first. This hand's doo-doo. Yeah, this hand's better. Let's do it. Come on, come on. Search your library. Oh, wow. Yeah, well, I never said this was a good matchup. So here, I'll crack my fetch and... I'm not really looking for a land, I'm more so looking for hope. Yeah. Just some hope. Well, well, well. That's not a lot of hope, so let's do this. Oh, you evil son of a gun. Oh, wow, yeah. Oh, yeah, I bet you'll do that right now. Play the ghost quarters. Ah, oh, God, the bane of our existence. The bane of our existence. All right, so the plan is to hopefully get this Liliana player empty-handed so we can force him to discard her. Well, I wanted them to play Bloodbraid Elf, not this nonsense. We discard the Shores. Man, this matchup sucks. Yeah, you're going to the grave, fam. Well, we got to thin to the deck to increase our chances of finding the Elder Spell. Come on, Elder Spell! Well... Pretty sure that assuredly means we're going to lose this game. Yeah, we got to lose our glimpse here. My goal is to get rid of this Liliana. Oh, God, this is so much pain. I'm just going to give up. We're not doing this. Oh, God. 
Now, honestly, that's just how the leagues run sometimes. You run up against your worst matchups. You run up against some of your best ones. I mean, this is why 5 0 is so inconsistent with this deck. Oh, God. Here's to playing Titan four times in a row. Am I right? Let's do it. All right, going into game two, we're on the play. We have a seven that is really keepable, and uh, we're happy. Let's do this. Oh, the age-old start. Oh, boy. Fingers crossing for a f That doesn't search your library. Then feel the wrath of the crab. Interesting. Pact of Negation and Kite Sail Freebooter. What the nonsense is this? Our set, Parter avails. Ooh, the plot thickens. We're gonna swing in with Crab to send a message. Wait, 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 wait. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I am now looking at my opponent's deck. Oh my, two hundred and twenty-five freaking cards. Like I actually, I hate. Oh my god, I hate this. Look, I really, you know. God, what is even going on? Like, how do I beat this matchup? Like, I guess we just start surgicaling stuff, right? Narset seems like a pretty common card, I guess. I don't know. Okay, look, I'm sorry, but what? Oh, right, this nonsense. Battle of Wits. <sighs> well, then feel my wrath. <laughs> Feel it, heathen. So many traps coming at your face. So many traps! And as we calm down, we draw three. Uh, and hopefully this crab can ride us to victory. Well, that doesn't help us win. Interesting. They didn't take the mill win condition. Do they doubt us? I mean, look, if I can draw in a boro, I feel like we have a pretty good chance here. So let's do this. Yeah, okay, cute, fine. All right, we play him again. Well, I was just going to say, this mission briefing is really going to have to be an archive trap, but that Judge's Familiar really does put a crank in some of our plans. Let's see if we can trick this fool into searching their library. Oh, he fell for it. Let's do it. Ooh, playable cards. All right, we're getting there. We're getting there. Well, I guess they might as well play this out because it literally isn't a win condition anymore, so sure. All right, let's see if we can fool them a second time. Alas, it's the small things in life that you win with. Well, land drops are land drops. But in the end of the day, this is what we're here for. We swing in with Region Crab to, again, send a message. Oh, God. Picking from their sideboard. Felden's Cane? Oh, my God. Okay, whatever, man. You can have this one. Look, folks, I'm going to be honest. I don't know. Okay? I... <sighs> I, I... I don't know. I don't know. Game two. All right, I guess we'll take the play. All right, then. Let's do it. I'll be honest here. I think our goal is to first get them under 200 cards. We don't lose to Battle of Wits. And then... It's going to be to assemble some massive, massive bulk of, like, Hedron Crabs and lands and win that way. So let's start off from the top. Ooh, there's something nice. Well, let me just, let me just take a second before you get that down, all right? Let me just get something in. Well, oh, wait, what do we have here? Surgical targets. I'll take... All of these. And all of these. I should note that Liliana the Veil in hand is probably game over for us, but we play for the sake of entertainment. Let's go. Oh, let's just, yeah, let's just do that again. Yoink, yoink, and yoink. Ah, <sighs> boomerangs the land. Man, I'm gonna be honest, this sucks, man. I wanna concede right now. Well, let me think here. So the Liliana comes down. We have to discard a card. Well, let's make them do it first. Yep, there's the Liliana. Yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna call it here. That's not gonna. All right, Jun then Battle of Wits. What more does this League from Hell have for us? 
Well, guys, this whole league has been a goddamn jungle, but tell you what, I've watched one season of Survivor, so I think I'll be fine. Let's do it. We're on the play. Man, this hand relies on so much, and uh, yeah, no, not today. Oh, uh, this hurts me so much, but fine. Our turn one, Sheldock finds us an archive trap, and we reveal to our opponents that we can only be playing Mill. Interesting, another terrible matchup. Oh, yay. Look, man, the only way this gets worse is if I don't see a land on top right now. All right. Okay, so the plan is we really want to outmaneuver our opponent here. So I don't want to enable a Searing Blaze by playing an unprotected Hedron Crab, but I do want to max out the value on a Flooded Strand here. So I think we're going to shock this bad boy in and play our Mesmeric Orb and cross our fingers. All right. Yep. And the survey said we're a winner. I mean, honestly, this Hedron Crab's just going to be going to Jesus, so, all right. Well, hey, this is why we kept our counter spells. So let's do it. Ah, <sighs> it's only turn three. It's only turn three. It's only turn three. Jesus Christ. Come on, Goblin guys, show me the light. Drown the lock is absolutely worthless. All right, Crab, you're going to Jesus. We're going to see what's left in our opponent's hand. Ooh, we got something. All right, peeps, it's Crypt Incursion or Bust. Nope. Let's try that again. Fine. Uh, going to the next game, it's not the worst thing in the world. We bring in a Crypt, and we're already playing Kling, so we just take out things that are either too overcosted or lose us life and bring in a bit more interaction. All right, well, we take the play. Man, this hand does nothing at all, so we got a mulligan. Sadly, our opponent begins with their seven, but this hand's pretty intriguing thanks to the Cobru, so let's do it. Oh, God, the last hand would have been so good. It would have been so good. Oh, well. Play it. Play that goblin guy. Do it. Play the damn. Ooh, Rift Ball Suspended is actually one of the better starts we can owe for, so pretty good. All right, so we practice some patience. We hold up our removal. Oh my god, even that mission briefing would have been tied here. Jesus. Oh, come on. I want you to play creatures, not this. No, stop suspending things. All right, we're going to cantrip. Well, we're going to cantrip again. Ooh, all right, something castable. All right, well, let's see what we can do with one of these with two modes. Yeah, skull crack seems like the pick here. Yep. Sounds good, chief. Well, why not? Let's do it. Oh, are you running out of gas? Man, you suck. Um, I think this is unavoidable. We got to peek at him. Well, we don't see anything. That kind of sucks. All right, no gas is no gas. That's not bad. It gives us a turn at least. See, I want to play this as an active threat, but I also need to hold up my interaction. So, nah, I'll pass. Interesting. They passed. Again, we pass. Man, our opponent's really busting our balls here. All right, let's do it. Yoink. Yeah, it's going to be a no for me, dog. Yep, that's a problem. I need a heal spell right now. Oh, I didn't even mill over a cling to dust. Speaking of cling to dust. Well, I imagine they haven't fetched these arid maces because I think we might have taken out all of their fetchable sources in some way, shape, or form. So let's do this now. Notably, we are going to target ourselves so that we can crypt them in the future. Please just draw lands. Please draw lands. Oh, all right. Well, we can kill it. See what we're drawing. Oh, that hurts a lot. Well, no time like the present. Let's do it. Well, it looks like this cling to dust is going to ride us to victory, so why not? Ooh, punished. Okay, fingers crossed. Oh, exact lethal. Well, we're on the plane. For all of you who watch me on Twitch, then you know that it looks like we've been caught with the unnatural curse of the 1-4 gang, so let's do it. Well, this hand's as good as it's ever going to get. Well, we've lost with better hands, so why not? Oh my god, sometimes I just want to crawl into a corner and, and just give up. Sometimes, oh my god, my head. 
<sighs> I guess we'll just interact. Oh. Man, this league sucks. All right, well, Sheldock's going to thin away cards that we likely do not want in this matchup. So, Hedron Crab is actually not something we want to draw. We'd rather draw the Surgicals to decrease the spell density that in this deck. Nice and simple, just two modes on our Collective Brutality, discarding the Field Rune. All right, we take the Burn spell, not the Cantrip. All right, we play the Waiting Game. Well, it seems like this deck is single-handedly just relying on threats, so we'll counter this. Oh my god, fine, fine. We Cantrip. We play a Land Tapped. Oh my god, how many of these can you actually draw? Oh god. Funny enough, Cling to Dust isn't actually that bad. I think we're gonna Cling to Dust one of the creatures and Surgical Lightning Bolt. Alright, let's see what they got going on. Ooh, that's a Surgical target. So it's looking like just age-old Mono Red Prowess, and yet again, as I've been saying for every single game this league, another bad matchup. Alright, let's gain some life. Oh, this is going to be absolutely disgusting. Man, this Mez Miracorb is my only hope right now. Well, unfortunately, we can't fire off these Archive Traps because one spell could just be lethal. So we gain some life. Oh my lot lot There it is, there it is. And that is going to be me conceding because there is literally no way we're winning this. All right, so going into game two, because this is more of a creature heavy deck than Burn is, we do need to have a little bit more interaction with their permanents than usual. And we take out some stuff that gets hurt by Blood Moon and stuff that loses us life. So why not? I would love to play. Again, we've lost with better hands. So why not? All right, well, I'm playing my Hedron Crab into an opponent that's kept their seven. Oh, every time, every single time yes yeah go away you light up the stage enabler fine you can have your compensation oh when i feel to ruin you just wait we'll cantrip at the end well it's a land play an orb well they had the abrade sure but what about my fatal push don't pass through fine i'll draw a card Oh wow, we're making our land drops again a deck we actually would rather have interaction for. What is going on here? I think you're trying to play a Bedlam Reveler. Well, let's make it slightly more expensive. Oh, well, no Reveler, but we have a Fatal Push target. Goodbye, goodbye. And hello, hello. Well, look at this. At least the Damnation was brought in for exactly moments like this. Well... As we said, yes, yes, sir. Big yikes. Ooh, 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 I know what to do, I know what to do. Sequencing is key. And well, we kill this now. So after two more crash throughs, they find another firebolt. They find another firebolt. Well, folks, I'm gonna be honest, I have to hope that they don't have exactly Three more lava darts left in their library. Well, there's two in their graveyard, so fingers crossed. Ah, alas. All right. All right, 1-4 gang, where am I? If you're here, please comment down below. Hashtag 1-4 gang, let's do it. We are playing one more round for science. Let me tell you, this is going to be one of the easiest videos in the world to edit. So we'll play first. Yeah, all right. Oof, really wish I shocked in that fatal. Hierarch is interesting. If this is infect, then I think it'd be in our best interest to collect a brutality. So let's do that. Ooh, and I am correct 110%. We are playing against infect. As if we needed any further affirmations, we take the thing that stops our fatal push and we move right along. Back on our turn, it's always good to interact with Infect after combat and on your turn because their interaction spells tend to pump their own creatures. So, which is why we fatal push here. Oh, of course that's what they draw. Look, we know what's in their hand. We know they have it. And I mean, these are rounding up to be some of the worst games of Magic I've ever played.
Going into this next matchup, we take out a little bit of life gain, some random stuff that doesn't really work for us, and bring in a crap ton of removal and interaction. Let's do this. Well, I don't think we've won on the play this whole tournament, so let's do it. Let's fall right into our doom. There isn't enough turn one interaction to make me happy here, so I think we're just going to pitch it. So our opponent begins with their seven, which tells me that they have a crap ton of interaction. So I think just having drown active on two is going to be pretty big for us. All right, the classic start. All right, we make our land drops. Ooh, they fetch. Ooh, look at them threaten us with their tapped breeding pool. Well, I'm going to counter this nonsense, but we really do need a field of ruin for that nonsense. I guess fatal push works as well. We shock that in to be prepared for something like Spell Pierce. We swing in with Crab to show that we will not go quietly into the night. Yep, that's a 1-1. One, one. Now remember here, folks, the key to beating Infect is you make them have it and make them use up all of their mana. So I will not be Fatal pushing this until hopefully after combat. There you go. One Infect is perfectly fine. At this point, we Fatal Push. Well, we weren't going to stop that anyway. I mean, look, this ain't no Field of Ruin, but it does something. Ride, our valiant hero. Ride into the sunset towards victory. Our opponent animates the Ink Moth Nexus, and little do they know that we are completely at their mercy. Yeah, this doesn't look good at all. All right, well, they gotta have it. Ooh, so they don't have it. Tell you what, it's better than nothing. One more last time. Just for everyone in the mill community. Come on, give it to them. Yep. All right, well, you make them have it. Okay, Slaughterhorn is some interesting tech, but, well, let's see what we got. Now, Field of Ruin is actually pretty solid, so we're going to put Echoing in the Graveyard and Field on top if we survive this turn. Now, we take Fatal Push to play around Spell Pierce, and uh, fingers crossed. Oh, magic, 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 magic. All right, here's a debrief, folks. Well, this is going to be more of a write off, and I've hoped everyone has enjoyed themselves because this has been a hot damn mess. We have faced every single one of our worst matchups. Even Battle of Wits. This has been the wildest league I have ever played myself. I think the list is perfectly fine. Maybe for the next one, we'll be switching it up just a little bit. Maybe with some phantasms. Maybe with some symmetries. But for now, I will rest easy knowing that I have taken all the bad luck out of these leagues. So, have fun in yours. Have a good night, everyone.